Welcome back. This is test one at the Big Cypress Enduro being hosted at the Grand River Motorsports Park in Robertsdale, Alabama on October 15, 2023. This is round 12 of the 2023 season for the Southern Enduro Riders Association. This is my first trip to Grand River Motorsports Park. This is a relatively new park in South Alabama. They've got thousands of acres and a lot of dedicated trails for dirt bikes. I'm not sure how many miles it is, but they've got a lot of miles of dirt bike only trails. This Enduro included 40 miles of trail and we never rode the same trail twice. This is a restart Enduro format with five tests, all combined for 40 miles. Test one starts on the north side of I-10 in this area. Let's take a look at the lineup in the B50 Plus class. We've got one Husqvarna, two Yamahas, one Honda, and one KTM. Looks like my friend Shannon Welch dropped a penny, so he stopped to look for it. I'm only joking, he took a tumble there, but he's okay. He gathered it up and finished the race. I'm on row seven today with these guys. My friend Bud Davies followed me for a lot of the race today and he shared his video with me, so I have an additional camera angle that I usually don't have. As you can see, dirt conditions were near perfect. There was a tropical system that came through the week before the race and dropped the perfect amount of rain. There was no dust, no mud, and great traction. There goes Chris Wood in the A Open class. At the end of test one, I'm in first place with a time of 12 minutes. The transfer to test two is pretty cool. We had to cross this river and try not to fall in. Test 2 had some tight pine sections and it really flowed well. That's Mark Kelly in front of me. He's in the A-Lite class. I had a lot of fun chasing him throughout the day. It can be really beneficial to have somebody on your road that's just a little bit faster than you, and that definitely helped me increase my pace in this race. Completed test two in 25 minutes, eight seconds, and I'm still in first place, followed by Ronnie and Jesse. Test three was faster than the first and second tests, and I just can't overstate how good the conditions were at this race. Combined with the perfect dirt, we've got trails that have never been raced before. This is a rare combination, and in my opinion, this is as good as it gets in off-road racing. This is one of the reasons why I don't mind doing some traveling to race. If you don't, you'll likely miss out on epic opportunities like this one.
completed test three in 20 minutes, 50 seconds, with a total cumulative time of 57 minutes, 59 seconds. I'm still in first place, followed by Ronnie and Jesse. The transfer to test four takes us under Interstate 10, which I thought was pretty cool. This is part of the motorcycle side of Grand River Motorsports Park. Test four was pretty uneventful. I completed that one in 25 minutes, 50 seconds, with a total cumulative time of one hour, 23 minutes, 49 seconds, and I'm still in first place. Test 5 was more awesome, open, flowing, smooth, fast trail. What's not to like? This was the longest test of the day at 12.2 miles. This test was pretty uneventful until about a mile before the end. There was a little bit of a rut or a low spot to the left here. I tried to go right, but my front tire slid off into the rut and down I went. Here it is from Bud's camera. Luckily I wasn't hurt and I was able to get going pretty quickly. Thanks Bud for making sure I was okay and thanks for that awesome video. It's really unusual to catch something like that from two different camera angles. You can check out Bud Davies full video over on his channel and I'll put a link to that video in the description. I completed test 5 in 37 minutes 15 seconds. Ronnie gained about a minute on me in that test but I was able to hold on to first place with a cumulative time of 2 hours 1 minute 5 seconds. Yeah. Looking at the championship points for the B50 Plus class. I really needed that win from a points perspective. William McNabb worked this race, so he got 60 points. If we consider the three drops, he's now three points ahead of me going into the final race of the season, which is the Gobbler Getter National Enduro in Maplesville, Alabama on October 29th. Thanks to Wayne Brisky, Clarence Randall, Dalton Pig, and all the volunteers who worked so hard to make this event a success. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed these race recap videos and leave a comment. That really helps me out. Thanks for watching.